Hello everyone. Today is um Saturday, May 15th, 2021 at 5:49 a.m. in the morning. My sleep was kind of spotty last night. And at the beginning of the night, it felt like I thought that I was going to sleep hard. And I felt a little nervous and scared because I took the, um, I drank the, what's called the Baobab fruit lemonade. And I heard that that has high magnesium. And I took my bentonite clay also yesterday morning. And then without thinking, I took by habit, you know, I took my um I took my magnesium supplement. But I heard that, you know, the direct energy weapons deplete us targeting individuals of magnesium and certain other vitamins and minerals or or whatever as well. So um uh, we end up being depleted. And so um last night I wonder I I, I guess I had a hard I was fighting sleep cuz I felt extra relaxed. You know, and the, the I'm I need to cleanse my body out anyway. <clears throat> so I took the um the magnesium supplement. I mean, uh, I've been taking the bentonite clay because it really helps menstrual cramps. So, um, it really helps menstrual cramps. So, I ate for once at a different restaurant today, I mean yesterday, for dinner. And I was disappointed that I couldn't get my phone charged. So now my phone is probably at 42 or 43% or something like that, or maybe a little lower. Even though I have the portable charger, but I try to use that as least often as possible and for like extreme emergencies. So, yeah, I pretty much didn't like, um, the fact that I was forced to sit at a bar yesterday and sit on those high stools rather than sitting at a table. And I wish I could have had an outlet to get to plug my phone. But the, um, the, the customer service was, you know, at first it was pretty bad because the guy who, he gave me like a, it was a small cup and he gave me a half a cup of water. And I asked, well, can you fill it to the top? And then he got an attitude like as if it was a big chore and like I get on his nerves or whatever. And I almost wanted to walk out. But I gave the place a chance and the food was really, really good. I mean, I panhandled, you know, throughout the day trying to get help with, you know, money for food to eat. Because I was very low and like little to no money. Not, not zero cents, but very, very low on money. So, um, it's like, good or bad, I can't say anything positive or negative because whatever I say, the online perps will use it against me and then have a follow-up video and then twist what I say. And they can make up lies on me, but when I tell the truth, they reverse it and lie and say that I'm the one lying and they're the ones telling the truth. But, or they'll call me delusional. And I even woke up this morning just still hurt and upset by the online bullying with the gang stalkers. You, you know, my twin sister and her cult followers and stuff like that, you know. And, and it's like... I'm really devastated because I even look back. It's like my twin sister does everything of a gang stalker towards me. But then, you know, lie, try to lie to me on Christmas Day and say that, oh, I'm not a gang stalker and I got you back. Well, you're working with the biggest, one of my, you know, 
all of my my biggest perps would tell me that 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 you know you're not a gang stalker. And she would do stuff like slander me to um my apartment complexes or my neighbors or probably a landlord too, but the neighbors and then you know have the neighbors act a certain kind of uh, harsh and abuse and act like they want to kill me and stuff. So, and, and she done a lot of dirty, wicked stuff to me. And then it's like, for her to try to, she tried to cover herself because I think she was livid last October because she found out that I found out their secret of gang stalking me. You know, and so she's trying to do whatever to fake protect herself and cover all her parameters to make me out to look like the bad person because I figured them out. You know, doing stuff on purpose just to make you mad, yeah, that's gang stalking. And then brainwashing and going brag to everybody else, encouraging them to do so and join in on the purping and bullying me, but you're not a gang stalker. You know, cults participate, cult members participate in gang stalking. So, I mean, even my own twin sister thinks I don't have a right to breathe air. But, you know, when she got had her feud with others, some of my brothers recently, you know, she didn't act that harsh towards them. You know, it's like I, I'm supposed to get the more brutal treatment. And even when I'm not doing videos about her, she'll have a follow-up video and thumb down all my videos along with her cult followers. And then tell, I mean, then everybody, I mean, then they'll lie and reverse it on me, be like, well, kids, I know Candy's stalking and watching all my videos and stuff like that, but it's actually what they're doing, you know, and I'm, I'm you know, pretty much bothered. And I, I'm feeling bad because I know, I know, I mean, I'm not trying, it's not in my intent to be hypocritical, I mean, a hypocrite Christian or anything like that, but it's like, Fighting gang stalkers, period, you know, the outsiders going to be, they be like, they, they want to act like as if they think you're a hypocrite or whatever because you're fighting off, you know, <clears throat> you're fighting off the gang stalking and stuff like that. But that's not what you're trying to do. You're trying to defend yourself against the enemy. And so <clears throat> it's very difficult to try to ignore you know, people trying to keep, you know, the things that they do is difficult to ignore. And it's easy for, like, some tar professed targets act insensitive towards the suffering of other targets. And they act like they think that their own suffering is the only, the only thing that matters. Their own suffering is the only thing that matters and nobody else's. So, I mean... <clears throat> the things that they do, especially, well, I mean, well, especially all of it. I was going to say especially electronically. But the things that they do to us targeted individuals, they're trying to kill us. So, you know, some targets remind me that um, the Masons tell people out in society to not help us, like try to better ourselves. And stuff like that. Because it's like, I don't, like, I don't owe a whole bunch of online strangers an answer for much of anything in my life. You know, they want to act like I owe them an answer for my life, yet they hate me and wish me dead. You know, and it's like, I only watched a few of my twin sister's videos. I don't, I don't sit there and watch all her videos all day every day like she thumbed down all her videos all day every day like she does to me you know and 144 Cali K she does that too I'm pro I'm forbidden to have her name in my mouth but then you know if I post a video about the gang stalkers cheating me out of my food then she'll um do fake follow-up videos and talking about greedy candy grand prix scamming people and they act like they're freaking obsessed with my GoFundMe. you know 
but I, I, don't, I don't even, and they think, oh, wow, she's such a fool. Or she's so crazy. She's so stupid. She's this, she's that. And, you know, they make fun of my weight. And they, you know, they just, it's okay for them to constantly talk about me. And I'm forbidden to, I'm forbidden to um defend myself, you, you know. And I, I actually got sick and tired and for once went on my twin sister's page and Michaela's page to go, you know, make a comment to tell them off about themselves because I'm, you know, you know, nobody else is going to do it for me. And, and, you know, so there's no one else to um, reprove or rebuke them for what they're doing. They know what they're doing is wicked and evil, but they think they're righteous, y you know. It, and, and so it, it's like... They make remarks and jealous of the one ten dollar gift card that I get from volunteering at the shelter, and then Michaela try to lie and say, "Oh, I ain't stupid." Yeah, she getting them gift, she getting all them gift cards and stuff. From her handler rewards her, and they just making saying all kinds of stuff, so much things that it's too much for even me to even say on this one video. But the stuff that they say, you know. It's like, I can't even YouTube search my own name. Because when I YouTube search my own name trying to look for certain videos to show other targets, that's when their videos come up. See, that, that's a Satanist, uh, a gang stalking Satanist right there. Trying to just use all that noise to distract. When it's just barely six o'clock in the morning. You don't need to be riding a loud motorcycle. That's too early to be riding a loud motorcycle. <clears throat> but then they'll they'll use um they'll try to lie and say, oh Candy's jealous of anybody who has a house and a car. Well make what make you think I don't deserve one if I had a college degree and blacklisted, you know? They I I mean they participate in the conspiracy to to have me destroyed. What may, as, I mean, what makes them worthy? <clears throat> if they want a steak dinner, they can have a steak dinner. But a whole bunch of online strangers, should, should dic they dictate what I eat every day and then falsely accuse me of living good and eating good every day. How the hell can I eat in luxury every day and I can't even get to take a bath every day? I'm going to show you all my freaking dirty feet that I couldn't take a bath. And then they're going to talk about me being nasty and stuff. And they make it like I choose to be. No, I don't have a place so I can take a bath. So, I mean, I'm, I'm disappointed because I'm sitting here thinking that my, my twin sister and my family members ought to know me better than the stuff that they're falsely accusing me of. One time, my twin sister, had, at the beginning of her videos, for her lies about me. <clears throat> um, it's like one of one of um her videos. She falsely accused me of being on drugs, and you know that's one of the um slander campaigns against us real TIs. You know, <clears throat> but I'm sick and tired of my twin sister and her freaking narcissistic lectures and her videos full of lies about me. When she she don't even think. I mean, she's scared and back down with any of my brothers. She'll get scared and back down. But she thinks she got the handle on me, but she couldn't even handle her three kids who were toddlers and she didn't have control over them. Couldn't have control over them. You, you know, but she think that they all think they can handle me, handle me a certain kind of way. And I'm the black sheep of the family. Nobody listens to me, but they can get closure. I don't have a right to have a voice. And lately, you know, the videos that I've been doing, you know, I was wondering, well, where are my supporters? Where are my subscribers? You, you know, I mean, people think you're just a negative party pooper or, or just uh, bringing down people's spirits when you're actually struggling and need help and going through something. It's not my objective or my intent to just bring people's emotions down. I mean, I'm not trying to drag people down with me. You know, I thought we... um. Targeted individuals are supposed to um, 
be there for each other and supportive of each other and help in, in Christians too. <clears throat> but even professed Christians nowadays, you know, they try to tell me, oh, don't be a part-time Christian, but you know, they, 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 have, like, they have a narcissistic, self-righteous, fake license to be a part-time Christian. Because the p church pastors are sold out 501c3 Illuminati Freemasonry. That's why they shun the homeless and they or they'll give the illusion of helping and they'll give the illusion of helping homeless just to, to look good. You know, they think that they deserve a big pat on the back by just giving homeless person I mean giving a homeless person oh that's the same idiot um just by giving homeless a homeless person um you know crumbs of food you, you know but these like I heard that if you're Christian and you're homeless I heard that the Christian church the body of Christ is supposed to help homeless people get out of their situation, not the government. I heard that the church, the body of Christ, is supposed to help homeless people, you know, get on, get back on their feet or help the homeless. But no, nah, even churches try to block you from getting help, y you know? So a lot of homeless people, it's like some of, and then some of the fake, the fake religious homeless people, they, they all have that fake, same fake narrative that they all, every, why every single last one of them, they, they'll make it like as if they've been on drugs and then God got them out of drugs or they, and then behind closed doors, they're still secretly doing drugs and under their influence. And I'm like, well, well, you know, but then again, I know how hard it is. I know how hard it is to, um, you know, I've never been on drugs, but I know how hard it is to quit a certain habit, you, you know. But the thing is, um, they all have that same narrative that these fake homeless people, these fake Christian, fake homeless people, I mean, fake former homeless or fake homeless people, they have this same fake narrative so that everybody will think that every homeless person is mentally ill and crazy and on drugs. And I'm sick and tired of that fake stereotype about all homeless people. But a lot of them are on drugs and stuff like that. And, but they want to keep up that narrative just to, for an excuse, so like homeless talk, a lot of homeless or not, a lot of targeted individuals, we, it's not even, it's not, I guess it's not that easy to take us down, you know, because I heard that a lot of homeless people, I, I mean, a lot of targeted people, um, a lot of us fight for our right to live, and I heard that even though it's the gang stalker's goal to get us to commit suicide, I heard it's most of us are covertly murdered, and then they, and then they want to cover it up. You know, the Freemasons and cults and stuff, the gang stalkers want to cover it up as a suicide. You know, so I mean, I, I mean, my first time work, walking up in that restaurant yesterday. And then to, to be given, I mean, and then I, I, I was told that the guy who gave me the half a cup of water and then got an attitude, I heard that he, um, I heard that he was the manager. And I'm like, wow, they got a lot of noise campaign this morning. Earlier this morning, somebody had their horn honking repeatedly. And then after I went to go pee, and then next thing you know, it's like after I went to go pee, that's when the horn honking stopped. 
And I don't know where, I couldn't pinpoint where the vehicle was. So they obviously were, were watching me. I have no place else to go. So, yes, even the police doing noise, noise campaign, noise harassment to try to, on purpose to distract me from, you know, speaking the truth, trying to hold me back. Why they're so close by me and just playing around, acting like fools. That's not a real emergency. Because they, they sound like they're just sitting right there with their sirens on. They're not even moving. Y'all hear them acting a fool? So, um, <clears throat> you know, I got no choice but to try to panhandle for survival. Since I'm blocked from working, I explained to people, I'm surprised yesterday people were a little more generous and more receptive, more receptive to what I was trying to explain. But um, it's like they, it's like um, even Mark Horvath of Invisible People, he said homeless people don't always need money for food. <clears throat> that sometimes they need money for other things like transportation and toiletries or, you know, something else. And so a couple of people shooed me away because they thought I was full of shit because I had just ate. And they think that I'm supposed to only ask money for food only. Or they, they'll, they'll think if you're not buying, if they, not, if they can't offer you money, I mean, offer you to go go get you something to eat, then they think you're gonna go and use it for drugs, and then they treated me like as if I'm a, like I was a dishonest scammer, you know, because they're ignorant and don't even know they never been homeless before. But it's like people they judge and condemn what they never experienced. That's just like people who think that oh, psychiatric medications is very good for you, but how can you say that if you never took a pill in a, a day in your life? And you never heard, I mean, you never felt the effects of how these medications operate, you know. So, that's one challenge with the panhandling is I have to just wait around for meal time to ask for money for food. And then, you know, buy food with it. Or like I'm not allowed to spend the money on if I needed to go to Publix and go buy me some wipes to clean off my feet or more maxi pads, um, you know, since I'm menstruating or buy some soap or buy this or buy that, you know. So I don't know. Society acts like they think they have the authority to punish homeless people. But all these businesses that know that I'm homeless and I go to their restaurant, they never once ask, they never once offered me a freaking job opportunity. Hey, well, I know you're homeless, Candy. You want to come wash, you know, you know, they'll help you get off the streets. You want to come wash some dishes for us at the restaurant or whatever. No, nah, they don't even offer that. They just hoping that someday I'll get out of my situation. You, you know, so. But it sucks to, like, I'm having all these problems, like, in me being disabled and work work too slow that's why I, I like even though my sleep wasn't the best last night I have a goal to write another short story today I don't care what you perps think because the online perps act like they think they have the authority to dictate that I shouldn't be writing books I, that I should not be allowed to write books or they just you you don't have that authority to take um take my right freedom and rights away just Back off, mind your business, and leave me alone. And then they'll be like, they'll project what they do and be like, I know Candy's watching this video and stuff like that. So, you, you hear that? No, no sirens are going to stay lingering like that. Any sirens? Was, um, <clears throat> no police or sirens is going to stay lingering like that. They, you know, that's how I know it's the harassment because they would have been gone already. They're not just passing by. They're just sitting there making stupid noise, being immature because they know I'm doing a video speaking the truth. So, 
<clears throat> um, I don't want this video to split into two, so, and they're distracting me on purpose, so I'm going to go for the moment. I'll see y'all later.